I feel like this is a pretty general statement that can be made for the collective right now. I feel like we're all in a bit of a gestational period where we're kind of just resetting everything and looking to new ways or better ways of doing things. And it's so interesting because there's been this narrative lately of people, people are getting angry or are, are talking shit about others because certain people just don't want to work anymore because of the fact that we've come to the understanding Five of Swords, that the way that we've been working in the past, we've been overproductive and underpaid. Hey everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So, this is your general energy reading for your day, for your moment, for your week, for your year. I don't know, for like whenever, yes? for whenever this resonates for you. Just, just please keep in mind that this is, number one, a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And also, this is a fairly timeless reading, yeah? This may resonate for you now, it may resonate for you for you in the future. A little, about, a little of it may make sense now, and more of it may make sense later on. Just keep that in mind, yeah? Stick a pin in it if you'd like to, revisit it at a later date, and most likely it'll resonate for you at that time, yes? So, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, <laughs> yesterday was a really interesting day for me. Uh, I mean, there's no real story behind it. It was just a really interesting day. Um, and it's interesting because um, when I got back from New York, uh, you know, things I was feeling excited and, and ready to get back into life and like, you know, ready to like start doing things. And I don't know, today it just feels a little bit different. It's a little bit of a gloomy day, you know, it's cloudy. It's probably gonna rain soon. Um, but I'm wondering how you guys are feeling. It's like there was a level of enthusiasm that now seems to have expired. Mm. Uh, but that's okay. Um, don't really know what's going on in the world right now, but it's all kind of up in the air, isn't it? Yeah, that's all right. We just gotta roll with it, roll with the punches. Um, I spoke with Carolyn two days ago, I think it was, or was it yesterday? No, it was two, yesterday? I don't even remember. Um, but we were just talking about, you know, what's going on within our community, within like the spiritualist community, within the reader community, the energetic energy worker community. And there's, it's like, there's a lot of, I feel like we're being censored, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely feel like we're being censored. It makes a lot of sense um, with, you know, the dynamic that's going on, what's being revealed, especially through individuals like us, um, and just with the, the, the big shift that's going on in the collective universally, right? Well, yeah, but like all over the planet. Um, so yeah, I'm hearing myself say it's just a time to just kind of like roll with the punches and make sure that you are staying in your, your truest or your best alignment, given the circumstances of no matter what it is you're facing. Yeah. Okay, so let's get, let's continue. Uh, let's get on with this today. We're going to look at uh, some of the energies for the moment or talk about, you know, what spirit has for you at the moment, what could be going on in your life and help get you some clarity, yeah? Um, so in order to do that, we're going to be using the same decks. I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot for our main deck and then we'll be going with the Los Carabeo for clarity. And then, of course, we will cross the Oracle Bridge when we get there. Yes? All right, kids. So, let's get into this and see what we have for the moment. I'm not even going to say for today. I'm going to say for the moment. And that moment is whenever you are guided to watch this, okay? So, in terms of that, if you're new to me, which, whatever, um, or just as a friendly reminder, Make sure that you pay the closest attention to the titles of these readings because that could, will potentially, well, that will show you what, uh, sorry, that will give you an idea as to whether the reading will resonate for you or not. Yeah, just check how you feel about it. All right, cool. Let's get into it. Let's see what we've got for today. The moment, excuse me. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, spirit. 
Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, romances, relationships, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, guys. So um, I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing a bunch of colors. Uh, the main color that's standing out for the collective right now is yellow, but that's surrounded by a, a whole slew of other colors. And the main word or the phrase that I'm hearing right now is clarity. So regardless as to what this clarity actually means for you, how it's manifesting in your life, what it is you're becoming clear on. It doesn't matter. It could be anything, if anything from like your heart chakra to heart chakra awareness to your third eye opening to your throat chakra opening and being able to communicate more. For some of you specifically, this is um, this clarity is coming in terms of how it is you wish to express yourself, uh, coming to a clearer, authentic view in terms of how a uh, clear, uh, uh, excuse me, authentic expression energies like that okay but it really could be anything because i'm seeing i'm seeing everything from you know your root chakra all the way up so this this is a big collective thing in terms of us gaining clarity right now um and i'll say that that's resonating with me too however i'm not exactly sure how this clarity is coming through i just feel like um I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it for myself. It just feels like there is, we're gaining a certain level of clarity. And for some of us, or in some situations, that could be like, that could be leading you to a little bit of depression or a feeling down, maybe a little bit of five of cups energy. That's kind of what I'm seeing just because of what it is you're beginning to understand or the clarity that's coming through. And in order to gain that clarity, there are some things that need to be cleared up, some emotions that need to be faced, some realities that need to be put in check or let go of, that kind of energy, okay? All right, let's give this five shuffles here. One. Two. four and five alrighty so what have we got going on here what is this clarity what does this clarity mean is the question that I've heard all right Okay, well, all right, overall energy, we do have the Eight of Wands here. We also have on the other side, we have the High Priestess. Now, um, the side of the Eight of Wands that we have so far, uh, it, it, it's the side of the Eight of Wands in which you have lightning striking, and then there's this Pegasus on the card, and... Uh, from what the book describes it as, it says that this is a type of, this is, it's almost like it's similar to a, a, a tower moment where um, the thing about this is there is, I feel like there is clarity coming through for you here and there's certain action that you're needing to take, that you're being guided to take, or maybe even that you want to take. But then also the caution with this card is then why this is very similar to the tower is that if this action isn't taken or if a certain, if something isn't expressed as you know you it should be or you're being guided to express it, um, often the universe will come in and do it for you somehow, all right? 
Uh, I, but to be honest with you guys, I don't feel like this is a situation that you're trying to avoid or, or something that you're trying to not have to deal with because underneath this eight of wands is, um, is the 10 of wands and then judgment to the nine of cups and, and underneath the nine of cups is the seven of swords here. So, and, and, and with the rest of the cards that come, have come out here, it feels like what I want to say is it's almost like you're at a stalemate right now because you have the six of pentacles in reverse, you have the ace of pentacles, but then you have the two of swords. Okay. So for some of, for, for some of you or for whomever this is resonating with, it feels like you're at you're caught between a rock and a hard place. And what I'm getting quite specifically is there's something that you may have been offering or there's something that you may have wanted to offer or there may have been some direction that you wanted to go in or something new that you wanted to create or manifest. Um, no, no, I'm sorry. I take that back. What this Ace of Pentacles feels like, it feels like something that you've been providing. A gift, a service, love, uh, compassion, affection, what, whatever this is for you, but you're caught between a rock and a hard place or you're at a stalemate because you're recognizing that the situation is not balanced or reciprocal. Six of Pentacles, okay? You're giving too much. You're overgiving at this time and you're needing to change that. And I feel very specifically that there is something that you need to communicate here. And that's why we have this Eight of Wands energy like showing up like this. And again, with that Eight of Wands, or at least this side of the Eight of Wands, it's similar to the Tower, right? Where like something drastic needs to happen or something really needs to change. But what I'm getting specifically here for you is that there is something that needs to be communicated. There's something that you need to say. There's something that, um, there's, a, there's a truer sense of authentic expression that's needing to come out here. All right? And you're caught between a rock and a hard place here because... It's almost, it almost feels like you're being pulled in two different directions. In one direction, you're being pulled towards continuing to give in the way that you have been giving. And the other, on the other hand, you're being pulled in another direction that says, no, we're not giving this way any longer. What I just heard is it's not up for us to decide who receives what or who receives it. I don't know what that means. Um, but that'll probably resonate for you somehow. That was a message that somebody needed to hear. I'll say it again. It is not for us to decide who receives it or who receives what. What being like whatever it is you're talking about or whatever the topic of the discussion is for you here, okay? But then also you have the high priestess. And I'm going to be honest with you, and I just saw 222 on the counter. This high priestess energy feels very, very comforting, even though there is a level of uncertainty surrounding all of this. Like, we're all in this huge limbo space right now. And the high priestess is coming through saying there is there's something else. There's something going on underneath the surface here. You're not really going to be privy to it. We're not going to give you all the details. You're not going to know all the details about it, but you can rest assured that things are going to be taken care of. You don't have to worry about it. This is almost like it's a test of faith, or at least what the high priestess is representing in this moment is a level of faith that is that you can fall back on, if that makes sense. There's something, there's definitely something brewing under the surface here, okay? I, I want to go to the other deck now. Um, I want to start clarifying because I want to clarify. I want to clarify this two of swords. Now, what I'm getting from it so far, this two of swords energy here. Now, recognize recognize that this two of swords is the tumultuous side of the card, right? Whereas on this side, it's very calm. On this side, it's not calm. There's a there's a storm raging. There's lightning striking all around this woman. Um, and she's really, what I'm hearing is who the, the person that's in this energy right now really needs to keep the faith and really just needs to hold your center. Because I also feel like with this two of swords here, um, the, the storm that is raging or this like tumultuous energy that's around you, it's, it's like a cleansing and a clearing process. 
okay? You really, you really just kind of want to hunker down and it's almost as if like there's a hurricane happening and there's nothing you can do but just like batten down those hatches and ride it out, right? But then that's also the energy that could be putting you in in this state of feeling like you're between a rock and a hard place. You may not actually be between a rock and a hard place. And actually the chaos that you may be experiencing in your life right now or whatever the drama is or whatever, um, it's actually helping to clear the way, to clear the surface so that something new can come through. Because like I was saying, this Ace of Pentacles feels like what it is you've been giving but it also, when I really think about it, it also kind of feels like something that you're looking to create, too. But you're going through a process of cleansing and clearing and healing so that you can start to provide in a better way, in a new form, in a new fashion, whatever. Okay? But right now, this is not a time to give. Six of Pentacles is in reverse. This is a time to just wait it out wait out the storm, batten down the hatches, and do the best that you can to really just... What I want to say is really just settle into the situation at hand or settle into the new energy that could be coming online, coming through for you here, yeah? Five shuffles. One. Two. Three, four, and five. All right, so let's talk about the Two of Swords here in more detail, yes? What's going on with this Two of Swords, please, Spirit? Okay. At the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands. Excellent. And I know this may not, this may not feel like a good energy it may not be something that you kind of that you want to see right now but the nine of wands is actually quite perfect because the nine of wands is that energy that's saying to you just keep going don't give up now batten down the hatches and just get through it the first card that came out for this two of swords here is the empress and the empress here is representing a womb or a cocoon or i'm also when it first came out, I, what I felt like it was speaking to, it's like the chaos of the birthing process. You know, like when you're like, okay, so, you know, you're, you're pregnant, you're, 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 something is growing. And then it starts, once we start to reach the end of it, things kind of get crazy, right? Because now you start going into labor and, and, you know, it, it, it's just madness from there for a little bit, right? Okay. You have that, that's, so, so there is a gestational period that's going through that's happening quite frankly maybe you're going to be going into labor soon this is figuratively speaking of course if you're pregnant congratulations uh like physically pregnant with another human being but you also could be and i i feel like this is i feel like this is a pretty general statement that can be made for the collective right now i feel like we're all in a bit of a gestational period right now where we're kind of just resetting everything and looking to new ways or better ways of doing things. This is all, yeah, see, this has all come out with the Seven of Wands, the Five of Swords, but also the world, okay? So this Five of Swords energy is what is coming to an end. It's this it's this lose-lose energy, the backstabbing, the one-upmanship, the, the, you know, the, nobody really wins here. And it's so interesting because there's been this narrative lately of people, and I'm sure you guys have heard it, um, but like uh, people are people are getting angry or are, are talking shit about others because certain people just don't want to work anymore. And I'm going to be honest with you, I kind of feel like I'm part of that group because of the fact that we've come to the understanding, Five of Swords, that the way that we've been working in the past has been... 
it's been, we've been overproductive and underpaid or undervalued. It's like we've been giving, we've been living to work, right? Instead of working to live. And we don't want to do that any longer. And what's brought that into play is this whole pandemic and the shutdown and, 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 and all that shit. I mean, like, I've been seeing memes about, you know, people not wanting to get back into the restaurant or the, the service industry because of, because of everything that we've been through lately. I've been seeing those memes all over the place. Uh, and that's just one example of it. You know, that's just one industry. I'm sure it's happening everywhere. But that's exactly what's coming to an end. Now, of course, it doesn't have to be that specifically for you, but that's the type of energy that I'm feeling here. That's this, this uh, uh, real, the, the realization that this has not been reciprocal, it's not going to be reciprocal, and we're not going to give to this any longer. Now, because of this, especially now that I'm looking down at the Two of Swords again, there also could be a, a strong level of mental chaos going on here because you're fighting against the establishment or you're fighting against the established energy that says you have to grind, 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 grind for pennies on the dollar. You know what I mean? We're not doing that shit any longer. And if that means we have to take a moment, we have to take a maybe a little bit of an extended period where, you know, we're not making all of the money that we want or we feel that we need or, or we're not working for a while or whatnot, whatever, so that we can go through this reset process, then by all means, do it. High Priestess says, encourages you to do so. Because from the High Priestess's point of view, from this higher perspective, from this universal point of view, uh, there's so much that's changing underneath the surface that, you know, all we can really do is just write it out. But as long as we're doing our best to stay as authentic as possible we will, and, and doing what, what we feel in our hearts is right for us as individuals at any given moment, then we will be cared for and provided for by the universe. Everything's going to be fine. But some of this chaos that you may be experiencing is a bit of mental chaos and you're really just needing to allow yourself to settle into the birthing process of what is new. Keep your boundaries up against this type of energy, seven of swords to, I'm sorry, seven of wands to the five of swords and allow it to just come to an end. Now, with the world coming out here, symbolizing the ending of this or this completion of this cycle or whatnot, whatever, it does feel like it's going to be a little bit of an extended period or at least what's going to be felt like is an extended period because this is big shit. The world here, this is not like the 10 of swords. It's not like one of the tens you know, that's uh, in the main minor arcana, which would also represent a completion because that's a 10. Um, this is major arcana. This is big time shit, y'all. All right. So this is not going to, this is not going to be easy. It's not going to happen overnight. Okay. It's like we have to, like Abraham, like Abraham says, you can't, you can't stand in front of a train and just tell it to stop. I mean, you can stop a train, sure, but it's going to take a little bit to get that momentum to stop. Like, you're going to have to apply the brakes. And even when you do, even a car, even when you do apply the brakes, you're still going to have to work through that, is it kinetic energy? That's got you moving forward before you can, and bring that momentum down before you can reach a complete stop. And that's what I'm feeling here is happening with the world, okay? So, persevere. Keep going. Dreams are going to be coming true, all right? Nine of Wands to the star, to the emperor. You just have to stay in your protective space. Here, look, 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 look. Emperor and empress, okay? You have to do what it is you need to do for yourself. Be the authority of your life. Hold up these boundaries so that you can get through this gestational birthing process because you are manifesting something brand new. That is not going to be burdening you, burdening you like the past has been. Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords. This is exactly what we're going through here. We're cutting away the superfluous bullshit. Okay? I have a hair on my nose. Freaking cat hair. All right, anyway. Let's go a little bit further. I want to talk about this Six of Pentacles in reverse now. Yes? All right. Six of Pentacles in reverse. What is this, Spirit? 
what can you tell us about the Six of Pentacles in reverse, please? The Six of Cups. <laughs> All right. There's the High Priestess again. Okay. Uh, we have the Six of Cups, but we have that with the Four of Cups. So we're in terms of the Six of Cups here, we're talking about nostalgia. We're talking about the past. We're talking about ways that used to the, the, the ways things used to be done. It's no longer for, it's no longer fulfilling anymore, is it? Nope. Sure isn't. And thus we're letting go. We're letting go of the past. We're letting go of the ways that we used to do things. We're letting go of the things that uh, we forced ourselves into because, you know, it was the right thing to do, blah, blah, blah. Or you had, I heard, I just heard things like, well, you have to make money, this, that, and the third. All of that is being let go of, or at least we're coming to the realization that that is no longer fulfilling for us, or maybe it never really was. Boredom. I'm done with this. High Priestess says, good on you. Yeah. Keep, and I, it's funny because I just heard good on you and then keep fighting the good fight because underneath the High Priestess is the Knight of Swords to the Ten of Swords. Okay. So this is fighting against those situations or the circumstances, maybe even the relationships that are just no, long, no good for us any longer. Right? Okay. All right, last thing I want to look at is this Ace of Pentacles here. Okay, what can you tell us about the Ace of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Back to the Nine of Wands. All right, keep persevering because this now the Ace of Pentacles is talking about. Uh, ugh, sorry, guys. Now the Ace of Pentacles is talking about uh, the new that's coming through. I just heard the gestational period that we're in right now. Ace of Pentacles is is clarified by the Emperor here, but then also the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the Emperor and the Empress. And the emperor here is now, it feels like they're he's protecting this new that's coming through here. He's providing the structure that's needed, that's necessary for the whatever is new, this new reality, this new opportunity, maybe this new job or career path or whatever this represents for you. He's protecting this. He's making sure this emperor energy, this masculine side, the father energy within you is making sure that it's protected and is guided and is clear so that you can rise out of this Five of Pentacles energy, okay? Um, and it's interesting because the Five of Pentacles, in this circumstance right now, the Five of Pentacles, even though you, like normally it represents a lack of mentality, feeling left out in the cold or whatnot, whatever, it feels like the Five of Pentacles is where we are right now. And we're missing that last pentacle to make to bring us to the six and so whatever this gestational period we are in is right now we're working on we're working on developing or cultivating that last pentacle to give us something meaningful to give us something that is reciprocal and balanced and is balanced and healthy but we've got to ride through this storm first we've got to go through the winter it seems even though we're in the we're in the spring right now and we're going to the summer and this is supposed to be a time where things are growing and changing and we're we're having opportunities and and the changes that we went through in the in the actual winter fall season are coming into play but and that is happening okay that is happening but a lot needs to change first this 5 of pentacles feels like that awareness that I was picking up on in the beginning of the reading and it's not the best type of awareness. It's like we're becoming aware of just how controlled, manipulated, censored, and unfree we actually are. 
you could almost call this a dark night of the soul, but it's not just the soul in the, in the individual sense. It's a dark night of the collective human soul right now. And so really all we need to do, I just heard is literally all we need to do is trust the process and go with the flow. Just keep going. Nine of Wands is at the bottom of the deck, okay? Nine of Wands to the star. Yep. Nine of Wands, star. Now the Queen of Swords. Huh. Yeah, the Magician, the Ten of Wands, yeah. Have faith. Trust the process. Okay, some of you, I just heard your ego is kind of getting in the way. You have to let things subside first. You have to let the old kind of sufficiently work its way out before you can allow the new to start to settle in, before you can allow this to come into play. The Ace of Pentacles here, okay? Trust the process is what I keep hearing. Okay. Let's get some Oracle Guidance. But where do we want to get that from? Crystal Mandala? Okay. Orion? What's up, baby boy? Really? Okay. Well, are you sure about that, though? All right, then. <laughs> Uh, you come here. Crystal Mandala, yes? Okie dokie. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three, four, whoa, let's try that again, four, and five. Alrighty kids, closing oracle guidance please, spirit. We have card number 21, Ascended Master, Lady Nada, and Rhodochrosite, Sensitivity. We bring you the blessing of sensitivity. Being sensitive in this world can be tough sometimes, yet your sensitivity is essential if you are to consciously feel and work with subtle, uh, subtle energy, receiving and sending telepathic transmissions, feeling and releasing energetic, energetic cords, tingling with exquisite blessings of divine love, sensing the whispers of divine grace, and seeing the luminous sparkling par particles of life force dancing wildly, and the beauty of shimmering auric fields in dazzling and colorful display. To be given the gift of sensitivity to perceive the energetic worlds is like being invited into the most special and extraordinary exhibit of sacred art. You may have struggled with your sensitivity, found it difficult to bear during times of emotional suffering, yet you have a great gift and it will bring you so much joy. If you are learning to develop your sensitivity, we will help you so you too can feel uplifted as you witness the energetic beauty of creation. Anything else? Uh... Oh, okay, here we go. Finally, if you have been sensing that something is not quite right, that there is an energy of fear or darkness around you or another, and are worried that your imagination is working overtime, do not despair. Yes, you are sensitive to light, but also to the presence of darkness. There is no need to fear. How you choose to respond to it is what actually matters most. 
recognizing when you sense something that doesn't feel like unconditional love or choosing to use the following affirmation uh oh or any healing process in this entire oracle deck so if you have this deck and you want to work with some of the healing processes go with it um will protect empower and ground you in the loving embrace of the light there is no need for fear but there is a need for a response a firm but loving no thank you i choose love today move on please is more than enough to keep you safely held in love in this way you can see that your sensitivity does not make you vulnerable but rather more aware and if you respond to what you sense without second guessing yourself much more powerful too So there you have it, guys. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee next week. <laughs> yeah. Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>